PC, accounting for your future. Hi, this is Dave from APC, and I'm the course director here at APC. So in this video, we're going to talk about the SIMA P2 advanced management accounting uh, in this particular video. So the first part of this video is we're going to talk about the um, syllabus. So how the SIMA P2 examiner may test you in this particular exam. So in the exam, there will be four sections in there. Um, it's all based upon what you've seen, what you've learned in the SIMA C01, the fundamentals of management accounting, as well as the SIMA P1, management accounting, and then now comes to SIMA P2, advanced management accounting. The first part of the syllabus is talking about the cost planning and how we're going to gain the competitive advantage. So mainly, for example, one of the very, very important aspects within this section A is talking about the lean manufacturing concept. One of the tools that we can use is where we're going to use the TQM, which means the Total Quality Management. It's going to manage the quality of the products being produced within the organisation correctly. Okay, so that's the section A is all about. And within the Total Quality Management, it's just to be the philosophy uh, developed by the uh, Japanese. And what we tend to do here is where we're going to encourage every staff within the organisation to come up to come up with ideas to eliminate the inefficiency within the organisations and, and, and that's the, the reason why we're going to look at here and within the section A we're going to be started to go through the activity based management as well. Of course very very importantly we talk about the concept of activity based costing because analyse the costing costs associated with each of these departments with each of these issues correctly so that we're going to manage those and deal with them properly. So that's what the section A is all about. So section B then is where we're going to look at the performance measurements as well as the management. So of course we're going to qu use quite a lot of these techniques to manage and also measure the performance of each of these managers in turn. So performance management is talking about which kind of tool that you're going to use in measuring the performance. So we're going to measure the detailed performance of those managers. For example, we're going to use the balanced scorecard. Not only we're we going to focus upon the financial bits, such as the numbers, and also the non-financial bits, such as the customer's care, such as the quality, such as the learning aspect, etc. That's what the section B is all about. And once we look at those, of course, the section C is talking about the long-term decision making. Rather than just to make the short-term decision, but now we are, we, we are mainly focusing on the investment decisions that the company is going to make. Of course, we're going to uh, detail quite a lot of these techniques of how we're going to make our successful investment in the part C and part DOC of the syllabus is talking about how we're going to manage the risks. Of course, all of them are based upon the, uh, uh, the knowledge that you've learned in the P1 exam, but we are going to step further. Uh, we're going to look at some more complicated uh, scenarios, so we're going to manage the risks. So for example, we're going to talk about the decision cheese uh, in managing those risks and certainties in much more detail in the section dog. Of course, to be perfectly honest with you, quite a lot of issues you have seen that in the operational level of your study. But now you're, uh, what you are required to do is you're given some of the more advanced as well as the complicated case studies so that you can apply this knowledge to those uh, cases uh, more appropriate. And that's very, very important here. The section two of this video is where we're going to look at how P2 may be assessed. So. You're given 90 minutes and 60 questions. Passing mark is now 70 rather than just 50. All of your questions are objective test questions. They include the multiple choice questions. You're given the A, B, C and D. Drop down box manual. And also uh, some of the yes or no type of questions. 
non percent shade. So those will be the objectives quite quite soon. Test clusters will be marked by the computer directly. And how APC can help. So uh, we will provide you with the HD quality videos. Um, I mean, recording all of those sections uh, complying with the syllabus. We've also got the study notes, um, which are, I mean, complying with the latest syllabus here as well, and with lots of exercises. And, and we will tell you how to prepare for the exams, how you're going to start exams, and what are the exam techniques there are. And using our materials, of course, you can pass the SIMP2 relatively easily. We will have the tutor support as well. This means that if you're not sure about any of these problems or questions during your study, email our tutor. Of course, we will provide you with the answers you want. And finally, we've got the pass guarantee. This means that if you fail the exam, don't worry, you can enroll in the course again free of charge until you pass it. But we are sure that with our study materials, you can pass the exam relatively easily in one go. So happy studying and looking forward to seeing you in the actual class. APC, accounting for your future.